can intersect in unexpected ways. My father had a connection with Rolf Kielman, one of the presenters tonight, decades ago in another state. Now here we are presenting our work at this event together tonight. These unexpected intersections show up in the work as well. Portraits I completed years ago are reworked in the present, taking on new life and new meaning. Our lives are works in progress, circling back and leaping forward in ways that could not previously have been imagined. These portraits are painted from life in oil and range in size, from 10 by 8 inches to 48 by 30 inches. The subjects are models, friends, and family members, and of course, self-portraits. As a therapist and as an artist, I've always been drawn to understanding what it means to be human. This is reflected in my choice of subject matter, my gravitation to the close-up portrait. Through a contemporary approach to portraiture, I delve into the rich terrain of individual identity and what is revealed in the intimate moments of seeing and being seen. From the privileged position of witnessing the other, I seek to convey the unique presence of each subject, as well as our shared humanity. My recent work has taken a new direction in reaction to the sea change in American politics. After the Women's March, I awoke with a vision of graffiti scrawled across a portrait. I was moved by the power of thousands of women, men, and children showing up to march for women's rights and ultimately human rights. I was inspired by their homemade signs, their grassroots expressions of their beliefs, values, and outrage. This vision has led to a body of reworked portraits featuring slogans from recent political events, quotations in my own words. I began with the painting, Fight Like a Girl, reclaiming what it means to fight like a woman with strength, resilience, grace, inclusivity, and nonviolence. The act of writing over the portraits has felt empowering and liberating. It has allowed me to channel my anger and speak out on issues involving human rights and social justice. Through these portraits, I give myself and my subjects a voice. The portraits move from the singular to the universal, merging image with voice. I invite the viewer to have a fresh encounter with the subject, to look anew beyond stereotypes or labels. I hope with curiosity, empathy, and compassion. The work has roots in my family of origin. My parents were active in the Civil Rights Movement, attending the March on Washington, where Martin Luther King delivered his I Have a Dream speech. Life has come full circle for many of us. To quote the daughter, credits Scott King, struggle is a never-ending process. Freedom is never really won. You earn it and win it in every generation. These words resonate with our times and also reverberate with the challenges every generation faces of overcoming their own painful legacies to claim freedom. Over the holidays, I attended a service at the Burlington Unitarian Church. The sermon delivered by Reverend Mara Dowdle identified the universal wish for a savior, particularly at times when we feel overwhelmed by events and tragedies befalling the world. We protest, where are the grown-ups? How could this possibly be happening? She challenged us to recognize that we are, in fact, the grown-ups, that we cannot wait for a leader larger than life to appear to step onto the world stage to solve these many problems. This message resonated with me deeply. I experienced it as a call to action, and like so many of us, came to the conclusion that I could no longer be silent, that I need to speak out and become more engaged around issues that matter to me. I thought, if not now, then when? For I am a grown-up now in every sense of the word. And from the privileged position that I occupy relative to so many in this country and on this planet, I must overcome my own fear to speak up, to speak out. The work also derives from my experience as a therapist, my years of bearing witness, and my recognition that what we share in common 
is greater than what sets us apart. I've come to recognize that a constellation of factors have contributed to arriving at this work at this moment in my life, that the words I choose are directed both inward and outward. The work represents a response to what's happening in the world and simultaneously captures an internal shift within me, that I'm refusing to silence parts of myself that have been silenced in the past. This is translated into an ability to take more risks in my work. This body of work is ultimately about freedom of expression and breaking free of the chains, internal and external, that bind us. It's about the importance of speaking on behalf of ourselves and on behalf of those who cannot speak or are at risk of being silenced. This is why I've named my current exhibit at Shelburne Vineyard Freedom Speak. Through my art, I claim my right to have a voice. May we speak our truth, May we stand up for what we believe in. May we feel grounded in our heritage and the work of those who came before us. May we recognize the power of our individual and collective voices. Thank you.